Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about what is probably the most famous, popular killer doll of all time. That's right, we're talking about the first Child's Play, the introduction to Chucky, today on Talking About Tapes. Talk, 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 talking about tapes. Tony, you want to see what I got? What? Oh my god, Johanna, be careful! There's an evil redhead in the store! And also, Chucky is in your hands. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Hey, Tony. What's up? <laughs> so, Child's Play. I feel like everyone kind of goes through what I'm about to say, all right? And I feel like Joe mentioned this on a previous episode of his show. When you're a kid and you're in the video store, you see, you see Chucky tapes, and they scare the shit out of you. Because you're like, oh my god, I'm not used to toys being evil killers. This concept is horrifying. And then you look at the tapes and they scare you and you're always afraid to watch it. And then eventually you watch one of the Chucky movies and you go, this is the funniest thing in the world. What was I afraid of? I have never been scared of dolls. So no. Really? That never happened to you guys? Well, I grew up with tons of porcelain dolls. Okay. So I had porcelain dolls going around I would my room. I even more but scared I, then. I made up stories in my head because I was a fucked up kid and be like, I hope they're alive and they're going to kill me in my sleep. I think you're still fucked up, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I've heard, I think Joe mentioned it and I've heard other people, they all kind of go through this thing where like when you're a young kid, you're like you're terrified of Chucky yeah. until you actually watch it and you're like, oh, this is kind of a comedy? No. This is fucking great. Really? No, no. I, I've never been. I've never been scared of Chucky. I've never been no. scared of hmm. dolls. Like that's never been a fear of mine. Well, when, I think they're fun. But when did you guys first see Chucky? I'm a teenager, at least. Did you start with the first one? Yeah, I'm you? sure I did. My when we used to rent just horror movies, we would just pick yeah. random ones. But I kind of went through that thing where I was like, I would, I would always look at the tapes at the store, but mm. I'd be too afraid to rent them. And then I think my grandfather found like he had one of the tapes. It was like a bootleg one, like one that you like, sure, you taped off of like cable or something like that. I think I was more scared of what was it? The show or the movie where it was like the little soldiers came to life. Small soldiers. Yeah, I think I was more scared of small soldiers than I was than uh, Chucky. Really? Really? Yeah. I but yeah, I remember movie. I finally I conquered that fear. We put I'm Child's so Play on and I was like, this movie is awesome. It's so good. This movie is great. Directed by Tom Holland. Woo woo. Who, Tom Holland, no. <laughs> who did Fright Night. Yes, he did. Which apparently is my favorite movie, which is why I chose to review it on my birthday. It wasn't definitely forced upon me by Mr. Lobo and Ryan Hickey. I just, I really love Fright Night. It's my favorite. I don't know if they're like around. I just, you I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid appears. if I like piss with like Lobo will just appear. Don't fuck with Mr. Lobo. Don't fuck with Mr. Lobo. Don't fuck with Mr. Lobo. That's, don't fuck with him. Oh, uh, but yes, Tom Holland, really great horror uh, director and horror comedy director. This was written by, well, co-written. The story was developed by Don Mancini. I'm going to get to in a second. And the late John Lafia, who died a few years ago, um, who ended up directing Child's Play 2. Now, out of all the slashers, this is like an interesting series. Because the Friday 13th continuity all over the fucking place. Oh, yeah. I, what, what is canon? What isn't? It's kind of after a certain point, they're just like Jason's in space. And now he's back on. It's it's stupid. Halloween. <laughs> they've rebooted their timeline several times. Yep. They can't figure out what to do. Uh, Text Chainsaw Massacre. I feel like every other movie is a yeah. reboot or yeah. a remake. But like Child's Play, mm. other than the one remake reboot. It is had. It's probably had the longest uninterrupted, like continuity. Yep. And they've been fun and good. Yes, leading up to this TV show, and it was funny. I think um, years ago on Cinemasker when we did Ready Player One, I was like, "What a year for Chucky! He goes from being in his second direct video movie, and then in the same year is in a Spielberg film, and then they re they did the remake, which we can talk a little bit about the end, and then." That drummed up enough interest for them to be like, okay, we're doing a TV show now. And Chucky's back and the whole family's back. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of been cool to see this character like evolve. I also feel like, so like, there's definitely like the first three or whatever, which are not like as memeable as like later ones. 
Yeah. But like, I feel like they were supposed to be like a little more serious stuff, whatever, but they're kind of like their own thing. Yeah. And then Bride of Chucky happened. Bride of Chucky Bride Bride Bride. became a thing and just yeah. like blew it up. Bride again. of Chucky, yeah. that's when they were like kind of evolving. They're like, mm-hmm. okay, this self aware horror comedy is like, the th- even the cover of Bride of Chucky looks like the Scream 2 cover. Yeah. And then like, like um, it's, it's like very like on the nose. I would say that one's actually my favorite one. And they're just having more and more fun, and now Chucky somehow is an LGBTQ Yeah, and then they reignited it again with, like, Colt and everything yeah. else, and yeah. it's just blowing up again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that other one did not. Everybody ignored it. Yeah, and um, <laughs> Chucky, Chucky was designed by Kevin Yeager. Holy fuck, what a... He was, like, what, 23? Three when yes. he did this, and he he did like makeup for like fr- uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare on Elm two, Street I three, think. where three. he had to do the. Um, I after I watched this, I was like, you know what? Let me actually look about more of the animatronics because I find that so fascinating to be doing during the eighties because yeah. we're so used to CGI. Mm-hmm. I watched all of the tape, rec- the recorded tape of the back uh, behind the scenes. It's like a half hour long on YouTube, and mm-hmm. it's legit like with a camcorder and stuff like that. Oh, it's that's actually cool. really freaking cool, and it's. It's not really edit. It's just a whole bunch of like things that he was doing. Yeah. And it just seems like a whole bunch of like people just in a warehouse, just like any other production. It was yeah. like fun. Um, but yeah, he did the, uh, he had to wire, uh, wire up some like just slight things for Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Well, I want to say the, um, when me and Joe did Master of Disguise, Girl, he was Girl. one of the makeup guys on that. And there's like a scene Joe was able to point it out. There's a scene where he has his makeup table and they have like the Freddy Krueger latex that's from cool. that movie in yeah. the background. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but he's, yeah, he, he's blown up since I think he's actually the most. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. The most successful person from that cast and crew, even almost actor wise. I think uh, the person that has done the most notable notable. Would that be the right thing? Yeah, when notable, it comes. Yeah, I guess. so. Well, I mean, because I mean, Catherine Hicks, who we ended up marrying. I who mean, plays Karen uh, Barkley yeah. in this? She ended up doing Seven multiple Seven. seasons of Seventh <laughs> Heaven. That's funny to think. It's like, hey, I made this puppet that's supposed to beat you up. You want to go out sometime? <laughs> that's a way to my fucking heart. Is that how it me? happened? I like yes. to think that's how it happened. Canon. <laughs> <laughs> but he is a genius. Look at how that works. They had nine different animatronics, and a few little people. They did. Yeah, and they had a few little people, they which they still people, do to this day. Nine animatronics and then a whole bunch of like actual puppets and dolls. Yeah. But oh um, my gosh. But yeah, Kevin Yeager went on to do a lot of stuff. He he directed Hellraiser 4 and then took his name off it because they chopped it all up. I have a whole video on that. The work print of Hellraiser 4. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll get into this movie here. This horror classic it is. that evolved into. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. You know, it's weird seeing like Friday 13th go from being angry lady to zombie robot in space in 10 movies. But like, when you think about Chucky, it's like now there's a million Chucky's and they're breaking the fourth wall. And he's got multiple. He's got one wife that he splits up into multiple. It's like, it's like, wow, this series really went nuts after a certain it's point. Um, but it begins with Brad Dourif from Alien Resurrection. <laughs> and... One flew over the cuckoo's nest. The two towers, Lord of the Rings. We have an episode up. That's Plug true. it. That's true. That's true. He was in that. Um, and he's in other things like. Everything. <laughs> what is, what in isn't the, he in? He's in like, the, the Halloween remakes. Yeah, I'm sure mm-hmm. bracket in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I like Brad Dorf. He is the Lakeview Strangler. Yeah. And I'm sure you're going to know this fact. His name, Charles Lee Ray. Where does it come from? Oh, you didn't look that up? I didn't. Really? How about you? Mm-mm. Women in their 30s and they don't like know. like Charles Manson? And all, yes. All That's what I was going to oh, say. Oh, so I can just guess it. I didn't yeah. even Charles, look it up. Charles Manson. Yep. Lee Harvey Oswald. Yep. yep. And James Earl Ray. Yeah. So I didn't even have to. So I didn't have to look it up. I could just guess because I'm smart. Although I'm a little conflicted with James Earl Ray. We also like serial killers. Well, we don't like serial killers, but I'm fascinated by them. I'm a little confused because Lee Harvey Oswald, that's the killed Kennedy. James Earl Ray killed Martin Luther King Jr. But if you watch the X Files episode, you know that it was actually the cigarette smoking man. Yes, it was. So it should be Charles cigarette smoking. Smoking man. Maybe they should have added a cameo for that and he <laughs> should have been be smoking a cigarette. Oh my God, I would love that. <laughs> I mean, he was smoking later after he got blown up. But out of all well, yeah, the yeah. serial killers, like those are the names you picked? 
Yeah, they mix Charles Manson and Lee Harvey Oswald. Well, they're not like, even serial killers. The no. two last two are just like assassins. That's really. all they are. Yeah. I mean, maybe they were sniper. Yeah, they but were, like also like, Charles like, Manson never actually killed anyone. There's also that. I think there's like there's they so, think he I, might. I, have, still. <laughs> they think he might. Oh, have I have killed a whole people, thing behind but, Charles Manson, and yeah. I think he's like. A pussy, but anyway, but, yeah. this Charles, uh, he's the Lakeview Strangler or Lakeshore yes. Strangler, one of those stranglers. I, I thought it was Lakeview. I think it's Lakeview Strangler, which it's funny rewatching this now after seeing I've only I've seen the first season of the show and the first few episodes of season two. But they kind of dive into Ch Chucky's past. And there's like Interesting. a whole thing where you realize he doesn't actually strangle a lot of people. Like even he's, really? even he, if you think about it, Chucky's not really known for strangling people to death. No. And I think they make fun of that in the show where it's like, oh, like they make fun of the stabs. name how it doesn't make, stop it, stabs. stop it. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, stabbing. But yeah, he gets shot by uh, the one cop played yeah. by uh, Chris Sarandon Chris yep. from Fright Night, my favorite movie. <laughs> my favorite movie of all time. Not Johanna's favorite movie. She does not oh enjoy it. God. But uh, my favorite movie. <laughs> Um, Tony, can you turn that down? Bleh! <laughs> go back and watch that episode where I tell the story of how Johanna did not enjoy Fright Night. Don't drink Captain Morgan's tattoo. <laughs> I don't even think they make that anymore. They're probably oh, like, oh, this I bitch is thrown up. <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah, I like that uh, Charles is just like, I'm going to get revenge on you. And his partner, his partner left him. Yeah, his partner was a douche. Eddie. So I want to know what Charles Lee Rice packing because looking at him in this movie, like Brad Dorf's not like an ugly dude or whatever, but in this yeah. movie, it's like, ew, how the hell did he land Tiffany? You find out in the show. No. <laughs> how? <laughs> you find because out in the TV show. I know it's explained, but how? <laughs> because crazy bitches. <laughs> Like, you know, we don't always go for the most hottest Problematic men. men. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What did I tell you, Crystal? You're not going to fix your dad. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Crystal, please don't date a murderer, at least. Can you at least just give me that? Can you just not date a murderer? Can I be the murderer? No. Fuck. <laughs> We're gonna have to talk about this negotiation. Because I might later. have to be pulled into like a trial and miss a couple. No, episodes I will of say the I don't. Get the hell out of no, here. no, Tony, you act like I'm gonna say like I know you. <laughs> do you know this like, man? Never met him. No, there's, there's video. Or they question me. They're like, nope. "Do you know this Edited. woman? No, no." Nope. All right, CGI. well, there's literally multiple videos. <laughs> CGI of you with her. In picture. Nah, it's a, never a met her. Never seen whatever. her in my life. <laughs> yeah, you see one redhead. You seen them all? <laughs> I thought that was Ian. <laughs> I'm sure that's not Ian. I'm pretty sure that's Ian. Ian. <laughs> what? Um, what? So yeah, uh, Charles uh, vows revenge, and I like that he grab. He's talking about how he needs to get something, mm -hmm. and then he finds a doll, and then he does a bunch of voodoo magic, which I think Don Mancini did not like the voodoo aspect of this. The voodoo but, aspect was odd throwing it in there. Makes to sense, his though. credit, he's rolled with it ever since. He's yeah. never. He's made fun of it in all his movies. And he keeps changing the rules, which is kind of funny. Yeah. But yeah, apparently he wasn't too big on the voodoo thing. Yeah, Dumbala. <laughs> so yeah, uh, he grabs the good guy doll, which is basically the Cabbage Patch doll. Because they were talking about like, it's kind of making fun of consumerism and whatnot. Yeah. But like the Cabbage Patch doll, like people were going crazy over it. And also I got this nice book here on toys. I, I remember that. having the uh, one cabbage patch doll that apparently kids were being dumbasses and sticking their fingers inside the mouth because it would like every fucking you could like get like a carrot stick, for example, yeah. but it was like a fake carrot stick and it would like bite with, it and would, it would eat yeah. it and then yeah. it would you know open up the back and then you can take out the food or whatever. But uh, people right. were shoving their fingers in there and it was getting like <laughs> stuck or like crushed or whatever. So they recalled them. Yeah. And that was my favorite doll at the time. And I'm like, I'm not giving this back. Just because a bunch of kids are dumbasses, <laughs> I'm not suffering. <laughs> and I never gave it back. Well, I'm jealous because I had a cabbage patch kid and my mom wouldn't let me open it out of the box Aww. because she's like, it's going to be worth something one day. Speculative so sure market. Worth something. I don't fucking know. It's in my well, that's it? like me I, with all my spawn in my toys. Mom's attic. I don't know what. She's like, you know, you got a Furby up in the attic. And I was like, I want my Furby. <laughs> Can I, I have my Furby? All my spawn my toys Pokemon are in boxes. There. I go no. get that shit. I don't know where it is up I'll there. I'll help you dig. All right, let's go to South Jersey. You've got some good Pokemon cards. I'm going to pocket them and never oh, say anything. Oh, I got some great ho <laughs> <laughs> holographic ones. And stuff. Anyway. I had a huge binder. I guess I like, had it and then my mom threw it out. Anyway. She threw out a lot of my toys. Speaking of toys. Shout out toys. to our good friend Casey who bought me this book, My Life in Toys by Brian Levant, the director of Jingle All the Way. Apparently he's a big toy guy and he wrote a whole book on it. He even, 
Wow, I could never guess he likes toys and jingle all the way. I don't know. P people direct a lot of movies and they, they don't assume they like all that. But it even movie. came with a autograph. Wait, you've never seen Jingle All the Way? Yo, these gingers. Now listen, Crystal, if you watch Jingle All the Way and you decide to do, watch the furthering adventures and Jingle All the don't. Way too, watch it with our commentary track available on Patreon. Good. Starring Larry the Cable Guy. Anyway. Um, that is really cool. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so cut to the next day. Uh, we meet little Andy Barkley, played by Alex Vincent, who you might know from Chucky movies and... That's... In the early 2000s, you might have seen no one at his table at a convention. Yeah. And now he's in the Chucky show. Good for him. Uh, Andy is excited because it's his birthday and he's making his mom breakfast. This mom sucks. Cute. This kid sucks. No, you're good. You're sleeping and leaving this child unattended where he could literally burn the house down. He was burning the toast. Well, I guess she was early. He woke up early is what I got. She was he probably woke, like, there's not, no, no way that there, kid would ever be dumb enough to do all that shit. No, then, kids are dumb enough to do that. I never tried to cook anything or make food for my parents. I was like, cartoons are on. I got shit to watch. He was watching his cartoon stuff too, or yeah, that's true. He was multitasking. Stuff? Yeah, he was. My TV was not in view of the kitchen, so mm. that just wasn't doable for me. I'm sorry. Um, wow, yeah. rich person over here. <laughs> I had a TV in every room. But uh, he wasn't. Wow, like, rich people. There were like <laughs> shitty like tube TVs though. Like it was a tiny little TV <laughs> on top of the fridge. Okay. Like that's I what had one of those. we didn't have. Like we had the was, basic like, cable. Like, like I never grew up with like the Disney Channel or anything like that. Mm. But we had like one of the smaller TVs because for some reason my family is like obsessed with TV. Huh. It was one of those where every dinner we had the TV on. We had the yeah, news we on. did that yeah. a lot too. I kind of wish we didn't. But anyway, we'll get back to TV placement another day. Uh, yeah, his his uh, breakfast is awful. It's just every Fruit Loop it's in the world. And burnt a mountain toast, of, a mountain of butter. With a mountain of butter. butter. Uh, orange juice. Now I have a question. He's Three watching sugar. He's watching the Good Guy Doll show. It's yeah. a rerun. He's seen it before. And then they do the commercial for the toy. But then we see the mascot. And I'm like, why is that oh. mascot never come back? Why have That's they not petrified. done like Chucky puts his soul in the mascot? Like, I want to see that. I want to see that. That mask is uh, horrific. Yeah, but uh, he's all like, yeah, we get the new good guy doll. It's the best thing in the world. It says multiple sayings. But he says his name in the commercial, right? Oh, yeah. What was the name? It was like Bernie. Or... Hi, I'm Oscar, and I'm your friend to the end. Tidy ho. Because they all have different names. Yeah, they all have different names. Yeah, they all have different names. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I forget what the name was in the commercial, but I know in the second one, there's a second good guy doll. a lot of programming. Yeah. For these dolls. Yeah. Hundred dollar dolls. Yes. Uh, but oh, in yeah. the second movie, there's a different good guy doll that goes by the name Tommy. So they all had different names. Oh, interesting. Huh. So yeah, uh, the mom like wakes up and she's like, yeah, that's great. That's nice breakfast, kid. I'm not eating that. Uh, but she gives him his presents and this freaking mom. Why did she put it in a box? She packaged it? all his clothes in a box that was shaped like the box for the toy. And Jeff she Kessie. knew that he wanted this. Yeah, doll. that was yeah. the weird thing. Like, yeah, this mom funny. sucks. Like, she sucks. Like but she was like, I know you wanted it, but. Yeah, so I packaged all the things you didn't want in a box that looks the shape like. The yeah, like. But also, how much room was in that fucking box? It was like, how yeah, many small how many clothing? things of clothes were in there? Babe, like, small kid clothes are tiny. They're yeah. not, unless she got, like, the whole fucking store and put in this box. Yeah. He's, like, digging yeah. through and he pulls out, like, one pair of pants. And then he does get toys. He gets, like, some kind of a set, but it's not the good yeah. guy doll. The, no. Because <laughs> she's a single mom. Yeah, she said that she uh, didn't have time to, like, save up for it or whatever because yeah. it was, like, announced, like, later before. Yeah. But, like, how much was that fucking giant box? Like, did you just pull that out of, like, oh, the recycler or something? Yeah, she was, uh, that's all. She works at a department store. You know what? I'll take that as an excuse. She took that box because that was the only box she could I find. Can go back. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but yeah, she is Karen. Um, she parents. works at she works at the department store selling uh, jewelry. Huh? Selling jewelry. Selling jewelry, and her friend Maggie is Love like, "Hey, her. there's a guy outside. The scariest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> he's guy. I think he might be the same homeless guy from Hellraiser. I'm not sure. Uh, but he's got a he's got that toy that you want." And by the way, this guy still hasn't sold his toy. That's like super hot. Yeah. Item, and he's just wheeling it around town. Oh, yeah. We forgot to mention Charles died in a toy store. So, I, yeah, it's obvious. Yeah. Um, 
a real Toy Story that they actually blew up because it was set to, it was closed. All right, so how did What's-His-Face survive when that fucking Toy Store just fucking explodes? Who, Chucky? No, the detective. He's literally in the Toy Store uh, after he it explodes. But you literally In see movies, all... you can jump away from explosions. Oh, that, like fire explosions don't affect you in movies. Yeah. No, okay, no, okay, no okay, nor does right, the vibration right. or anything. Nothing like that. Like the windows are literally blasted No, out. I think we talked about this before in other movies. Like yeah. people are always being like, thrown by explosions yeah. like no the vibration would like shatter like the you one realistic hear. the one realistic one is a uh, hurt locker but what's his face is running in the beginning and just the shock wave is enough to kill him and he starts vomiting blood that's what yeah. really happens but in movies oh an explosion it's gonna jump <clears throat> <clears throat> no arnold, scratch on him arnold jumped away from that nuclear explosion and predator he did fine um, indiana jones he was inside the the refrigerator, refrigerator and just, he was fine that's a little different <laughs> we'll cover indiana jones <laughs> soon um but yeah so she buys the doll from the homeless guy yeah they're trying to like haggle yeah. and she's like oh like it's so expensive for 30 dollars that is a hundred dollar doll yeah, yeah. Shut the, the box is up. a little beat up it's not mean uh, it's coming out of the box. Yeah. It's for the child. Now, is it, their boss sucks. The little weasel How guy. How stereotypic can what that dick? be, though? Mm, you work in shoes, not jewelry. But There's it's just designated like, break time. Shut the any, fuck up. Any other, like, horror film, he would end up being a victim. Yeah. And it's like, that son of a bitch gets in and out of this movie scot-free. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he won't let her. He won't let her take off. He has to work. She has to work that night. So Maggie's gonna babysit. Well, no, Andy. they were short staffed. Yeah, they were short staffed. So he's like, you yeah. have to work. And she's like, I, it's my child's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. So Maggie says, uh, "I'll watch Andy. It'll be the hottest date I had in months." I wonder why. Shut Can't, the. F cancel her. Chucky did that kid a favor. <laughs> Chucky did that kid a favor. Anyway, uh, but yeah, she gives Andy the doll, and he's thrilled. And the doll's name is Chucky. Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Yes. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wait, Wanna the doll's play? name is Chucky? The, the doll's name is Chucky. Oh, I didn't know that. You might be confused because <laughs> the movie's not called Chucky. So you'd be like, what's the name of this doll? I don't understand. Child. His name is Child. Because <laughs> it's Child's and play. And this is his play. <laughs> this is a play the child is doing. <laughs> By the way, the Los Angeles Times said this is a jolting roller coaster ride. Yeah, well, uh... <gasps> Read the front, read the front right now. Read the front right now. Excellent Boy. special effects. It packs a wallet <laughs> by Leonard Malt in that dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since we did uh, that dick Leonard Malt. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. And then I saw who it was and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> That's a throwback to our Godzilla podcast. Godzilla, one day. One it's day. almost, monet the channel's almost monetized. One day. We've been moving the older episodes that were never on the Castilla channel that were originally on Hack Movies. I've been moving them over so they can all live on one channel. And hopefully it makes it monetized and we can come back as a live show. Anyway, um, so she gives Andy the doll. He's thrilled. He gets babysit by Maggie. And this is when all the creepy stuff starts happening. Because Andy's like, Chucky wants to watch the nine o'clock news. <laughs> and Maggie's like, uh, no. It's like, like doesn't think that's weird? Are you okay? There's like shit flying in my face. Yeah, I was like, are you a, like a T-Rex? <laughs> <laughs> I was going T-Rex. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, he wants to watch the news because they're talking about his death. Like, he's really interested to learn about his death. Um, so yeah, she doesn't believe him. She locks him in there. And then, like, I think you see Chucky. No, Chucky just no. turns the TV on. And all this, by the way, when I, was watch when I was watching this as a kid, all this stuff scared the shit out of me. It was pretty creepy. The doll moving on At its own. At this point, haven't you seen scarier things? Yeah, but, like, a a dolls, like, that's scary. That's scary. Dolls have never scared me. It was, they didn't scare me after this, but they scared me at the time. Um, I don't know. When I brought those creepy redheaded dolls from, uh, true. <laughs> yeah, from, from the behind the building. a building, yeah, you guys well, were like, freaked like, out. Dolls didn't scare me, but if you told me that doll comes to life and kills people, I'd be like, oh my God, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, all this stuff is real creepy because you don't actually see him. You see him run for one second at one Even point. with like yeah. um, uh, talking because he's clearly talking to Andy, but we never hear him talk. You never hear him. You don't see yeah. him like moving. Mm -hmm. um, I do like you see like the POV from the doll's point of view and you see it like pick up the hammer, mm -hmm. but you don't see his hand. Yeah. Um, and they do a thing where Andy is kind of dressed like Chucky, so it's kind of like yeah, he has uh, the pajama set. Yeah, and that he wore hair, to school. Huh? That he wore to school. That he wore to school. And, he and his hair off. is kind of long, and I think the movie like 
if the movie didn't have that prologue, it'd be like, is the doll alive or is it Andy doing it? Ooh, I think I would have liked that better. Yeah, but then you couldn't have doll sex in part four. So... <laughs> <laughs> Um, they still could have led up to that and they could have shown yeah. like a flashback on, you know, him dying and true. But yeah, this is a good like classic build up of like, oh, is, it, is she going to die now? Is she going to die now? It's raising the tension and again. Yeah. And I love that she has the phone call and then immediately as as soon as she hangs up the hammer, just boom. I love like, it's, how <laughs> dramatic of a fall is that though? Yeah, but that was. <laughs> oh no, I'm how falling hard backwards. Did... I'm still falling backwards. Okay. Oh no, I tripped out a window. So this is something they have <laughs> referenced in the show now. But years before, I remember when I watched this once with um, like my cousins and uh, my cousin's boyfriend at the time, because he had a problem with Chucky. He's like, wait, he's like, how much, how much strength does could Chucky possibly have to keep like like to throw the yes. hammer that strong and to like beat the guy up with the bat later? Like like how strong could he possibly be? He's very and tiny. The wrestle, Karen. How yeah. much? Yeah. How much mass does he have? But since then, in the show, the season finale of uh uh yeah of season one, he's like fighting one of the kids. And even Chucky calls out, it's like, it doesn't make sense, does it? He turns out it's part of the voodoo magic of that, Dumbala. Okay. That's but it's what like, I it thought. took 30 yeah. years for them to finally explain Don't how worry about it. Yeah. The only thing I could think of instead of just being able to pick him up and just punt him yeah. would be like demonic powers, like demonic strength. Yes. That was the only thing I could think That's of. That's what they've said now. But yeah. before it was just like, how is he so strong? But yeah. Strong doll. He hits her so hard that she turns around and bursts oh, through the no. window. Yeah, that was a pretty brutal <laughs> death. And flattens the car and everything. And he doesn't yeah. even strangle anybody. Yeah, he didn't strangle her. Nope. Hmm. What a strangler. So yeah, the police are there, Chris Sarandon and yes. his partner. Uh, and they're kind of like guessing that the kid might have done it. Because of the footprints. Because of the footprints, yes. Because Andy's Makes shoes, sense. which I guess are the same size as Chucky's shoes. That doesn't really Whatever. make sense. Did Chucky like put on Andy's shoes? No, no because the, you still see it. It has the powder on the bottom of uh, Chucky's shoes. That's true. Yeah, the kid sees it and he, he's like, it was Chucky. But at first the cops are like, I think this kid did it. But yeah. they checked all his shoes, but it didn't match. And His real name is Charles Lee Ray. And because the mom kept turning off the TV in the very beginning yep. when they're during the birthday, she turns off the TV as soon as they're about to talk about it. So she's stupid and doesn't know who Charles Lee Ray is. Um, but I feel like you should have heard his name before if he was like no strangler. As the, yeah. yeah. Well, at yeah. that point, they might not have known who what his name was. I feel like that would have been big enough news to where you would know, especially in the eighties. Well, I don't think I don't think they knew what he. I think they just knew him as the strangler until he died. But she hasn't caught any of the TV stuff because she keeps turning the TV off when they're talking about Whatever. it. Whatever. <laughs> but um, I will say, uh, there's a few delete. There's a bunch of deleted scenes for this movie, and the only one I can that I remember off the top of my head, I'll have to see if I can find a work print or something. How they caught Charles Lee Ray in the beginning, Chris Sarandon was dressed as a lady, mm. like baiting him as a victim. And that's how, because you see that's apparently hilarious. in the cut, in the beginning when Chris Sarandon's running, you see him throw a dress and I think, or like a wig. And that's like his outfit that he threw off. Oh, uh, I, I have to go back that. and check the footage. I think he like throws the thing because they cut out that whole scene. Anyway, that's cool. So the next day, Andy's going to school. After someone was like killed in front of him, basically. Yeah. yeah. Sending him to school. That I'd this mom sucks. I'd wait he a does. couple days. He, like, he literally had to sit there on the bed and was like, yeah, Chucky says that Aunt Maggie deserved it because she's a bitch. He said Aunt Maggie was a real bitch and got what she deserved. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, why? I don't think your kid's okay. I don't think your kid's yeah. okay. But you should not be going to school. But it's like Andy is told, like Chucky's just like, don't go to school. You don't really hear any of this. But he makes him go all the way to like the ghetto. Like this, like it was like super urban no decay. One looks yeah. at this poor kid. No one, just gla no one double glances at this kid. He's it's on the like freaking a... uh the train. Yes. No one's yes. looking. No, yeah, no it's no a little weird. I forget what the Chicago line's called. Yeah. I was about to call it the L and I'm like, wait, no, that's what But really. he's literally <laughs> going to like a crack den. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like No the one's worst. like, hey kid, you probably shouldn't get off here. Like you okay? Like yeah. nothing. Yeah. 
I guess it's weird. You know, the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I do like when he goes to pee and he's like, I'll Stay be here, Chucky. I have to tinkle. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, and then he's just like, I'll be there in a minute, Chucky. And, like his voice changes a little Even, bit. Even like when he's walking around, Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right there, Chucky. Chucky. But this is where the whole like, is it a killer doll gets thrown right out the window? Because you see, yeah. or is it Andy gets thrown out the window? Every time we say Andy, I think Andy from Toy Story. I can't help uh, it, which no. is still funny. I'm like, wow. And like, we also grow up with Andy in Toy Story. And we're also growing up with this Andy. And they both have. Toy Story 3 sucks. Go fuck yourself. Toy Story 3? Yeah, that sucks. Can you go fuck yourself? Great. Thanks. So, it was like, oh, so sad that they were going to die. They Obviously, they were going to die. Yeah, why did everyone get sad? Because, they because it's their fate still, yeah. And it's still upsetting. I was just like, where's. If anything, say, like, it's like four an emotional sucks. thing. It's them growing up. I didn't up see four because three was so bad. It's like, I'm not seeing that shit. Well, Dude, you have shitty taste. Sparky! Should, should I go see Lightyear? No. Lightyear apparently was terrible. I haven't seen it. Not, mm. No interest. Mm. Anyway. See Encanto? Huh? Did you see Encanto? Cartoons are for children. Anyway. I actually still haven't seen Encanto. Uh, no, toys. Toys are for children. These are, these are big boys. Toys are for children. Big boy um, toys. Someone mailed you some big boy toys recently. No, <laughs> they're yours. Wait, what? Yeah, I will be doing an unboxing of the toys that were set. Guys. Yeah, okay. We Wait, need to Tony have, hold up, them? Hold up. No, no. We need to have a conversation. <laughs> okay. But you know what? You know I, what? I appreciate being sent gifts. But if you are going to send sex toys, can you at least have a conversation with me about it? Because that was not okay. They were sent to my place of work. Someone else opened them, listen, not listen, real. Listen. Look, look, look. They don't know. So, Johanna, we're not saying 100% what her job is, but she orders stuff for the office. So, if it says Johanna, anyone will open it. They don't. I can see where they thought only she'll open it. No. No, look, you can send it to the P.O. box. Write a thing saying don't open on camera. There you go. Just don't don't send sex toys without my consent. Thanks. Girl, get a P.O. box. I'll use his. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. But I do like the porg blanket. Whoever sent me the get porg, a porg blanket. blanket? Porg. Yeah. What the fuck? The but news. don't send it to work. Don't send it to my work blanket? address. Send it to the Hack the Movies P.O. box. Good news. They're all still individually wrapped. So I'll be unwrapping them on my spicy side. You're now. gonna try them? Yeah, we'll see how I feel. They are a beginner set. Um, sorry. Hey. Si side rant. Tony. Side rant. Someone, go by the way, so I took him home because <laughs> I, I took him real quick. I took him home because I wanted to do the unboxing video and I left him in my passenger seat because oh, okay. <laughs> they were in an Amazon package. <laughs> and the next day, the cops are like scoping out my car. And I'm Why? like, what's going on? And it turns out there was a guy going around to unlock cars looking for like credit cards or wallets or something. So he went through my car because my car was unlocked, but there was just nothing of value. Why do you? Your, why do you use your it was car? an accident. I didn't mean to do it. I you usually lock it. I'm so OCD. I lock my car and then I check it. I I just thought it was locked. Uh, but the I, one he, time so the guy your car said, is unlocked. So the guy so said, no check your car. Take anything from that car. That Wait, car. real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> so the cop says, check your car. See if anything valuable was taken. So I'm looking at the, the glove compartment was open. And then I look at the seat and I see the Amazon bag. And then I see the um, water pump was out, not open, but it was out on the seat. And I went, oh, this poor son of a bitch was like, ooh, an Amazon bag. I wonder what's in it. And it went, oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, that's amazing. And I just started laughing in front of the cop as well. I'm like, those are butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that guy opened my bag of butt plugs. It must have been like, ew. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and amazing. then I let him know what your site was. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Chucky goes into Eddie's place. Uh, like, oh I like, by the way, really elaborate kill. Like he sets up the gas stove. I, I like the, the hand. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Very timely. They're trying to ban gas stoves now. That's like a thing. Why? Bad for the environment or whatever. I'm like, oh, there's like a weird oh. thing between gas and electric stoves. Are they good? Are they bad? And I, I feel like it's a way isn't to... Isn't just creating these things causing the problem? Hey, when you have a gas stove, you can uh, comfortably live off the grid. So banning that means you need electricity. When you have a glass <laughs> or glass, uh, gas stove, you can make s'mores. Yes, I do it all the time. I yeah. love it. I'm well, anyway, anyway. Is no electrical. one else petrified that they accidentally leave the gas on? I always check before I go to bed. I, I have an electric when stove, I so leave, no. Must be nice. 
when I leave, I actually, because I had a friend that um, they were away and their dog jumped up on the uh, counter and actually like started the fire and their entire house burnt down and the dog died. Brand new puppy and everything. So now every time I leave for like multiple days, I actually take the knobs off because Bub is a fucking psychopath and I'm petrified. Even though I, he probably wouldn't knock on wood, like still scared. Oh, that, that's easy. I, I got a solution. Take your cat, put it in like a shoe box and duct tape it until you get home. So anyway, Chucky. I need to save space cat. <laughs> so Chucky, Chucky turns save, on the gas. Save space cat. <laughs> Chucky turns on the gas. Oh no, someone's going to take the worst cat ever off my hands. Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> you know you love that cat. You love that cat. I did not. That's the only thing that likes you. <laughs> no, we don't like each other. We tolerate each other. Anyway. That's um, like a normal relationship. So he turns the gas stove off and I love like he's not even trying to blow up any like he's waiting for Eddie to fire off his gun and blow up his and the house like it just gets decimated. I'm like, wow, for like a kind of lower budget horror cool. movie, they did two explosions. You wouldn't yeah. expect that in a killer doll movie. It's awesome. But OK, we got a bunch of explosions so far. <laughs> Yeah, they're really going over the top on their Bobby. first outing. Because again, it wasn't even like hammer to the face. It was hammer to the face and, and I fell oh. out the window. Um, I love it. And right away, they're, the, the, the cops again are just like, well, that kid was there again. I'm starting to think this kid is a killer. <laughs> uh, it's weird that he killed the Lakeshore Strangler's uh, uh, partner. He yeah, found yeah. his way down there, found this random place and killed the guy. Yeah. So, like, was he again, just sitting there then waiting for, like, was Andy just sitting there with the doll just waiting for the cops to show up? Like, how did they oh, find him? Why did he not? When I was, look again, I don't know all the deleted scenes, but I think there's a deleted scene where it's, like, the blast throws him into, like, a hole, like a ditch. And I think he gets knocked out. And then I assume the cops find him knocked out. Huh. I don't think he's sitting there like, wow, Chucky, did you see that house blow up? I yeah, think actually, like, yeah, oh, I yeah. would actually see that because he's not a smart kid. <laughs> it's pretty stupid fucking good. Hi! My name is Andy. What's your name? I'm like, what? Yeah, he's a pretty bad child actor. Um, <laughs> the whole Eddie Caputo thing is now sad in context because we find out in the TV show that Eddie Caputo and Charles Lee Ray met each other at a boarding school. And Eddie was like one of his good friends. But he left him, so. He left him. Yeah. That fucker. I'd leave your ass. Hey! Mm -hmm. Wait, that means And that, I wouldn't look back. Wait, this no. means that in this world that you are you are assisting me in murdering women. But if the cops show up, you, so you'll murder women with me, but you'll leave once the cops show up? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I understand anyway. That. Yeah, I get it. Uh so they send the <laughs> they send the kid to like the freaking psych ward. They're like, "No, this kid is fucked. We need to send him there cuz he's saying that Chucky did it." Yeah, he starts like assaulting the doll. Yeah. Like, I know you're like you're, what was it? Uh, you're doing it on purpose yeah. or he's doing it on purpose. Tell him you always lie to me. Sound like a, like someone breaking up like you're always lying to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, so Karen doesn't know what to do. She takes the doll home. Uh but I do love the scene where she's looking at the box and it says batteries not included. And the batteries and, fell out. And the batteries fell out that that was good. That's like, that was rough. Where I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, this is, and she's looking at the doll and she's like, oh, shit. This thing's been talking the entire time. Um, and again, this is the part when I was a kid that I just started laughing. I started laughing so hard when she's about to throw it in the fire and then suddenly he starts talking. You, he's like, oh my God. you fucking bitch. Yeah, he's like, you fucking bitch. You I'm dirty bad. slut. <laughs> I was like, why did I expect him to say that? I said, talk to me, damn it, or else I'm going to throw you in the fire. You stupid bitch, you filthy slut. That was a great transition. Like, that was a great Chucky transition. And the transition. doll changed, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's because like, of the face. Yeah. yeah he because, has all the different transitions. What yeah. is it? Like, five different transitions of Chucky from when he's adult to when he's slowly changing into human to where yeah. you see his eyes sinking back. It's not as yeah, yeah, they, the, nice yeah. skin. And, yeah. But you see that, you're like, yes. <laughs> Demon doll. Uh, but yeah, he gets away. Uh, and she goes, like, looking for him. He Bit the he shit bites out of her. the hell out of her, yeah. Um, but like, yeah, she goes to uh, what you call it, the, the Norris, the detective, and she tries to like explain things, and he's just like, uh, uh, "Are you insane?" <laughs> they, they. Wait, by the way, she goes to interrogate the homeless guy after confronting the uh, detective. Yeah, like, hey, and she's like, "Well, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm." Gonna <laughs> 
tiny, tiny lady is going to go unarmed. Dress nice. Dress nice, unarmed into the bad part of town and talk to some homeless vagrants about and ask them, just ask them, a, pick their mind. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah super like, smart. So it turns out they're all rapey. Uh, what? But luck, yeah, who knew? But uh, luckily the uh, detective comes and saves her, but he's just like, it's not Charles Lee Ray. Cause he's like, yeah, you said it was Charles Lee Ray. He's like, no, I killed that guy. It's not him. So yeah, he doesn't believe any of it still, but I guess he's kind of into her. Well, we know they ended up, they end up together, by the way. At the end of, uh, what was it? Curse of Chucky. When Andy's on the phone, he's talking to his mom. And he's like, oh, are you in whatever the guy's first name is? So it's like, oh, they ended up together. Good Even for though them. she's in a psych ward and like. She got better. Um, but like, she, why not have the two leads always get together? Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, but in, in that information is where she finds out that the doll came from that store. Mm -hmm. So they're like piecing it together. Uh, and at this point, the detective is now driving his car and then Chucky tries to kill him. Because that's next on his list of enemies. <laughs> uh, what does he do? Doesn't he hit the brake and Chucky goes through the windshield? Is that in this one? I think that's in this one. Yeah. He's, Wait, yeah. no, no. I think they just get into an accident. Something happens. Yeah. He's, he's choking him. Because he has the thing wrapped around yeah. his neck or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but he does shoot him. Yeah. But like at this point, like Chucky starts to bleed. And uh -huh. it's like, oh, fuck. What is this shit? Yeah. Um. And Chucky leaves him. So at some point in their investigation, they found like where Charles, Relay Charles Lee Ray was living and they see like the painting of Charles. Yeah, because uh, she guy. asked for the address. Yeah. Because she wanted to go look for Chucky. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then she showed off whatever. And then he jump scares her for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Karen. <gasps> well, we find out that Chucky learned a lot of this voodoo doll stuff from a guy named John. Yeah. Hi, John. I love when Chucky's just on the countertop. I was like, hi. That is a great And this scene. is this is really good between like the animatronic and the guy in the little suit. And mm -hmm. like the, the cutting between is pretty good. Um, but I like that he's like, hey, why am I bleeding? And he's like, the longer you're in that, the more human you become. It's like, well, fuck, you didn't tell me that. Yeah. It's what, what does Kira say? You should always have pamphlets for whenever you're about to do a supernatural thing. <laughs> That's there should be awesome. a pamphlet that tells you the instructions. She's so smart. <laughs> and it's like, oh, by the way, if you put your soul in a doll, you will eventually turn into a human doll. Um, and how many times has this happened during the season? Like, seriously. Like, <laughs> isn't that, I think there should be a cutoff of how many times this can happen. But I like that John is like, no, nope, I'm not going to help you, Chucky. Fuck you. But like Chucky has the voodoo doll. And he's like breaking John's yeah. leg. Again, really elaborate kills. Which but could just be a doll just stabbing people. They really go above and beyond. But this is when he learns that um, the only way he has to put his soul into the body of the first person he told his secret to. Yep. Which is Andy. Yep. I'm going to be a six year old kid again. I've got a date with a six. Yeah, I don't want to say the line because it could be clipped. But he says a very problematic line in today's culture. <laughs> I have a date with a six year old boy. Uh, but I do love that line when he goes, and you've got a date with death. And he just like stabs mm -hmm. the voodoo doll. Uh, and then what you call Karen and what's his face go in and he's like, by the way, I'm about to die. By the way, shoot him in the heart. It's the only way. He'll come back. But it's the only way according to this film. <laughs> that was um, a very dramatic death scene. Yeah, it very, was a pretty dramatic, dramatic. Death scene. Blood, too. For a Lots character we blood. just met, he has yeah. a really long, drawn out and death Karen's scene. And Karen's just like on top of him, like, what is going on? Yeah. Like holding him. I was like, Jesus, you don't know this guy. <laughs> the heart, it is the only way. Uh, but this scene used to creep me out, though, when Andy was in the psych ward and he's looking out the window and you see Chucky going oh, up the stairs. Yeah. Like, that's creepy. I like that. That's creepy because it's like, oh man, even here, he'll just find me. How's he getting around? They cover that in the show. Really? I would think like Toy Story, like he's on the back of a truck. Well, that was the thing in the show. He talks about how great Uber is. And he's like, I just Uber everywhere. It's like, great. You put the app, you say, take the doll here. And they do it. It's like, before I would have to hold someone hostage. I would like, That's like Chucky, just goes on a, Chucky just does a glowing review with Uber. It's like, it's the best thing I've ever had. I'll have That's to talk to anyone. <laughs> um, But yeah, I, they bring Andy to the electroshock therapy room. Yeah, Poor what the Andy. hell? Poor yeah, Andy. yeah. I'm like, were they gonna shock him? What was going on there? But I, I, I would this, need parental consent for that. Like, I think you need to let them know what you're doing like, before you do that. Um, 
But yeah, uh, freaking Chucky breaks in and electrocutes the doctor. And it goes on for a while. And I feel kind of bad for Andy. He's like, please. Because at first it's like, stop, stop. And then he's like, as the guy's dying, he's like, stop. stop. It's like sinking in. I'm like, oh, man, this kid's fucked. And I do yeah. like in the newer movies how they show how fucked he is after all yeah. his experiences. It's like, yeah, he would be a fucking weirdo these days. <laughs> um, But he escapes. And Chucky's following him. Uh, I think he goes back to um, he goes back to the apartment. Yeah, he goes back mm -hmm. home because uh, when the mom and the de uh, detective yeah. show up, whatever, they're like, "Well, where is he?" And then she's like, "He had to have gone home because I told him if he's ever like was it unsafe or something." Yeah, always well, go, go home. home. So yeah, go home where your aunt Maggie died. Doesn't have doesn't really. How work. is that still not a crime scene? Yeah, How did they just kick let, everybody out in the he, beginning? She's I don't think like, you're allowed to do that. Like, mm -hmm. sorry, yeah, and also like, like, your kids. This is a crime scene. Go to a hotel. Yeah. Although those cops were making themselves a little too comfortable. The ones like reading the newspaper. It's like okay, Chicago please. Can I mean, you act like you're working here a little bit? Um, cops work. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. How dare you? Cop Mike was on this show. ACAP. <laughs> Uh, I do love when the lady in the elevator is like, "What an ugly doll!" And he's like, "I love that." Fuck you. you. Ugly doll. Fuck you. I love that. Scene. Again, at this point, it's like you kind of fall in love with Chucky. It's like okay, because he. We were talking about how like Freddy Krueger has so much personality yeah, mm -hmm. compared to Michael and Jason, and then Chucky was another one. It's like okay, I kind of like because as the slashers were becoming less villains and more just like lovable, not anti heroes, but lovable yeah. rogues or whatnot. You're yeah. just like okay. I kind of like that this isn't just, I'm a doll, I'm killing you. This is like a, fuck you, lady. Yeah. Uh, That's why I like this doll, haunted doll the best, because I mean, yeah. right now there's so many of them, and he's just got personality. It's there's not like bunch, an Annabelle yeah. or something like that. It's, yeah. It's Brad Dorf. Like, what, what's and not it's Brad to like? Dorf. Yeah. Like, what's not to like? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he attacks Andy at the house. Uh, and they come in just in time to save him. I love they throw him into the 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 fire, the fireplace. And the whole, like, Andy, we're friends to the end. They gave Andy the action movie line of, This is the end, friend. Uh, they light him up, and apparently, um, I think it was a commentary track or behind the scenes. I remember Brad Dorif talking about his kids, which I guess is Fiona Dorif. Uh, oh. They apparently, like, they were there with him the day where he had to do the ADR where he's screaming and apparently his kids are real scared of his screams. That's amazing. Of him going like, fucking ah! Like screaming like crazy. Is the commentary track on here? No, I, it was one of the commentary tracks they were talking about it. Um, but yeah, the, I love this whole finale because Chucky just won't fucking die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's uh -huh. lit on fire. Shot multiple times. Shot multiple times. Has his. By the way, the fire Chucky is like the scariest. Yeah, this is where With it's like, eye. okay. Yeah, that one like. They had the person in the suit. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, very for, obviously a person. For that, a person in the suit coming at you. Yeah. But when they actually let him on fire, that's a. Um, it was just one of the flailing animatronics, which was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love that whole sequence. Eventually, they cut his head off. Uh, and you think it's done. <laughs> and I like when I like when the other oh yeah that's this is the part where like the cops like leg is broken because Chucky like hits him with something it's yeah, like yeah. how much how much force could he possibly have to do how that? much damage can a fucking doll do <laughs> like against three people two grown adults against and a child three like people. yeah um, but I do like when the partner shows up and it's like you guys are crazy and they're like don't touch the doll and I like he's playing with the head yeah uh, and the, again this part scared me because I didn't expect him to come out of the vent uh, which okay Chucky's skeletal sk system really bothers me yeah because earlier in the film Maggie's dragging Chucky around and you can yeah, tell yeah flopping you can tell it's not yeah. a full arm it's, it's not flopping a full like arm. these do yeah yeah and now suddenly he has like metal wire. It's not even bone because he's looking no. human. He's got like metal wiring and stuff. I'm like, mm. don't worry about it. Movie magic. Yeah. Don't nitpick. I turned the movie it's, off. It's child's play. I, I went, I went, that is unrealistic. And I turned the killer. Maybe a transition from doll to human is robot. Uh, maybe that's how he started growing his skeleton. No, you have to be human to robot. We've seen Jason X. We know. <laughs> maybe you go doll. Shitty robot, human, good robot. 80s robot, human, future robot. 80s robot from the Muppets? Yes. 
Uh, but no, finally someone remembers like, oh, that's right. We have to shoot him through the heart. I, 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 out of nowhere, <laughs> out of nowhere. Shoot him in the heart. Like, bitch, you were just trying to shoot at him multiple times. You shot like, him everywhere but the heart, you idiot. Arm, leg, <laughs> head, everywhere else but the heart. Bitch, you were the one that was told the heart. You fucked up. You had one job. You had one job. Yeah, she sucks. You had one job. Shoot him in the heart. Terrible yeah. parent. Everywhere else. A moron. Wouldn't Literally. the fire have melted his heart? Is that the first time he hit someone else's mic stand? I think so. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I do like Chucky's death, though. Oh, but by the way, I love that Chucky is talking to his body. Because it reminds me of Reanimator. When the, oh, yeah. the head of the guy is talking yeah. to his body. But yeah, Chucky's like, kill him. Blah, blah. It's like, well, what did that just be? Chucky, like. Does Chucky have to, once his head is removed, does he have to give instructions to his body? Is it as like a, conch shell guy? Yeah, it's like conch shell guy. That's right. That the the or Caribbean. like it, um, oh, so many movies that do that. Hocus yeah. Pocus and. Yeah, I guess mm, so. Yeah. yeah. It's just funny. Um, But yeah, I like when they finally uh, kill Chucky, his like death pose. It's like, ah! <laughs> which they made fun of in the Simpsons. Remember, uh, there was the Simpsons Trials of Horror where, uh, Homer gets a hair transplant and it's snakes hair. Yes, yes. The criminal and like the wig at the very end of the episode, they're shooting the shit out of the wig and it dies like kind of in the same That's way. Um, oh, you said about what in the plastic hurt his heart. The second movie, he straight, him. oh, no. whoever, someone said it. Yeah, what did his heart melt? Simple. Yeah. Um, no, in the second movie, he melts in the plastic and he doesn't actually look. Well, we can talk, when we get to the second movie, which by the way, if you like Child's Play 2, I did a review of the TV cut of the film because a lot of people, me included, whenever we watch Child's Play 2 on DVD or streaming, we're like, wait, there are scenes missing. And I went back and watched the TV cut. I'm like, holy shit. There's a whole generation of kids who watch this on TNT and stuff and remember these missing scenes, including the alternate ending. So huh. go back and watch that video. So the TV has more scenes than the DVD? Yes. Because they had to cut out the violence. So they added in more scenes. And they there's a whole different ending. It's probably the most popular video I've done in months. So thank you people on the channel for not watching the video. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm a little confused. Like, all right, so Chucky's dead. And then the second one, it's like, well, if you rebuild the body, he'll just come back to life. It's like, wait, what? They kind of, even Don Mancini has made fun of how he changes the rules as the movie. There's go so many different yeah, rules. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, I will say I do love the cloud effects. Whenever he does the voodoo chant, the cloud effect. Yeah. I love that effect. Uh, and I've seen it in other movies, but I always think of it when I think of Child's Play. Um, I want to see more of that because I, I forget well, how they- We just saw it in um, I forget the how, new Hellraiser. Yeah, but I forget how they did it back in the day to get that smoke effect. Um, but yeah, that was Child's Play. Okay. Is this the best killer doll movie of all time? Yes. This specific one? Yeah. This specific cake head? Is it the best? Is Chucky just the best killer doll? I'll go in with general? that. Yes. Yes. I would say the third movie that will always have my heart. That's a good one. I'm literally I am obsessed with Jennifer Tilly. Yes. Uh well, that's the fourth. Yeah, one. Yes. Oh shit. I mean fourth, no. not the third. Fourth. No, the third this one. Entire is the entire time worst. I met. Third one is the worst. Um uh, that's what this entire time when I was saying third, I meant fourth. Yeah, even Don Mancini doesn't like the third because he had to that's write right, it. That's so right, because quick it was the, the uh the Third one is where they do. Um, they flash forward a little bit and they send them to military school. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hate that one. Fuck the third one. They, they because did it's like weird the, because they had the little boy all yeah. of a sudden, and all of a sudden now the the rule works with the little boy, and they're trying to transfer the. Chucky's soul to gonna little be boy. a bro when yeah. he finds out he's gonna be a black guy. What the he's fuck? Like, Chucky's gonna be a bro. Yeah, that it was worth weird. it for that one line of dialogue. There's a couple good kills in that one. I don't like the third. Yeah, the no, third but one's Don, my least Don said like he had to write it right after the second one to get it out the next year. And he, I he can understand that, but I like the other one no. since then. I like where Chucky's gone. I know some people don't like the hard switch to comedy. <sighs> I enjoy it. I did like Curse I of... I absolutely adore yeah. Seed. I love yes. uh, Curse of Chucky, how they kind of went back to the horror, but they didn't ignore yeah. the other films. Yeah. Cold of Chucky was too dumb to hate. I'm sorry. It was too dumb to hate, and it worked as a prequel mm. into the TV show. I really enjoy the TV show. It is funny to see people complain about the TV show because of all the LGBT stuff. And it's like, yeah, Don Mancini's gay. Like, yeah. apparently a lot of the stuff with Andy in here, because uh -huh. he was so estranged from his dad and he lived with his mom and yeah. he like, as like a gay kid and whatnot. So now he's as, 
as society and whatnot becomes more progressive, he's able to finally work those ideas into Chucky. Oh, cool. Whether Chucky's you like, very progressive. Yeah, whether you like that or not, that's fine. But it's like, people are like, Hollywood shoehorning it. It's like, no, this is literally the creator doing it. Not, again, sometimes. Did they miss Seed? Yeah, Seed was ahead of its time. Like, she Seed was, was way really ahead, of, its ahead time. of its time. Um, so it's, well, yeah. I've heard that the first season's really good, but the second season's horrible. This is what everyone is telling me. I haven't seen the season yet. Only, first they put the first two episodes free on YouTube and I don't have cable. So I haven't gotten around to finish in season two. Okay. Um, we did forget to mention in Jason X, the girl who played the main girl. She's in season one of Child's Play. Oh. Of, of Chucky, I mean. Yeah. And Devin Sawa from Final Destination. Yes. He's He plays multiple characters. He He's in season dirt. one as like two characters, I think. And in season two, he comes back as a completely different character. Sure. If you look on his Twitter, he talks about Chucky so yeah. much. They just keep bringing him back as someone yeah. new. Sure. My favorite part of the TV show is that Tiffany has been pretending to be Jennifer Tilly yes. for 15 yes. years. Like she's never stopped pretending to be. Because <laughs> at one point they introduced her like, Jen, you might know her as an actress and poker player, Jennifer Tilly. Like, oh, well, Tiffany's just been playing <laughs> Anyway, yeah. um, I still like Chucky. I'm trying to think. I don't think he's the scariest killer doll ever. No. No. Um, you know who I think is the scariest evil doll? Uh, the one in the X-Files episode that Stephen King wrote. Uh, the episode, I think, was called Chinga, where Scully, she goes to vacation in Maine, of course, because Stephen King wrote it, and they find, like, this little doll that sing that, like, is able to, like, drive people crazy and make them claw their faces What's it and whatnot. look like? It looks like a classic, just like porcelain. Okay, whatnot. that's what I like. Like yeah. there's um that Raggedy Ann doll, um, which was the Annabelle, original, the which real is the Annabelle. Real Annabelle. Yeah, yeah. Which they Why do, do they? They do. I will say the first Annabelle movie at the end, the girl is in a thrift store getting the Annabelle doll, and in the background there's a Raggedy Ann. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Annabelle one I have a commentary track for it with movie dumpster. Oh, nice. I don't really like Annabelle one, but I actually like the prequel and the sequel to Annabelle. They're actually huh. not bad. Hmm. I it's, like. James Wan? James Wan didn't do them. No. He does the Conjuring stuff, right? He does but the they're conjuring. all involved, though, with each other. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know. Because, like, you see a little bit of the beginning of Annabelle yeah. in the and Conjuring. So we reviewed Conjuring 1. Because like, they have for, the, the, that room with all the haunted Yeah, it's the animals. same. That's it's, the, the whole plot of Annabelle 3 is kids messing with that room, and they're all. Yeah. Although I was really upset because I was, all those movies, I was waiting for the samurai ghost to do something. And the armor just sits in a hallway and moves its head a little bit. Yeah. Time. But anyway, but we it's reviewed. all about like the. Um, sorry, it's all about the the um, people that are um, in charge of like the hauntings and stuff, like the um, ghost hunters, basically. Yeah. Okay. They're, Who I hate because they were awful people. But they're in real actually. Life. I was gonna say I yeah. listened to a podcast that explained the entire real life thing. The real life, I think, is actually more interesting than the actual movie because the, well, the movie is it's also real. The movies paint them as heroes and like no, they were like horrible people that manipulated like mentally ill people. Anyway, I actually like all the Conjuring spinoffs and I don't like the Conjuring movies. Really? I didn't see the third one yet. Two had some good moments. I haven't seen three yet. Yeah. But I like the act. But I like the nun, La Llorona. I haven't seen that one yet. I heard La Llorona. Are they coming out with a nun too? Yeah. And I like the, the two Annabelle movies. Not the first one, but I like the other two. Hmm. But anyway, that is Chucky. <clears throat> He's a cultural icon now. Uh, good for Chucky to keep right. going. Talking Tina or Chucky? From um, Twilight Zone. Oh, I didn't even think about talking Tina. I think I actually have an image of her. Yeah, I do. Yeah. This is my oh, Twilight good. Zone um, bracelet that I'm obsessed with. I know everyone's like, oh, is that a religious bracelet? I'm like, yes, Twilight Zone. Uh, talking Tina might be scarier, but Chucky's uh, cooler. Talking uh, Tina. What's the one with I Anthony Hopkins, that really old one where he has like a puppet? There's an Anthony Hopkins one, like a young Anthony Hopkins with an evil puppet. There's the Devil Doll. That was a Mystery Science Theater episode. There's a movie called yeah. Devil Doll. About an evil ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> oh, why do I feel like I know that? Oh one? my god, the Goosebumps. Uh, one. Oh, Slappy? I love. Uh, yeah, Slappy. I didn't see the Goosebumps movies. I heard they were cute. I didn't see it, but I want to watch at least like the first one because Jack Black's in it. Yeah, I didn't uh. see it because I'm an adult. But maybe when the twins are a little bit older, I'll show them. What the original movies? Or just like any, actual movies? any of the? Goosebumps. Oh, I have some of the VHSs. I, I guess so I guess much. the twins have already watched Halloween Ends, but I don't think they were because they're only a few months old. I don't think they were really paying attention. Oh my to the movie. god! <laughs> like introduce them to like little monsters first or something. Little monster sucks. Monster House. Monster, monster House, House is good. Anyway, that oh, is so it from us. What do you think about Chucky? Do you like the older movies? Are you in the group that hates when it switched to comedy? 
Do you enjoy the new show or do you think it's woke? Um, Who's your favorite killer doll? What's your favorite killer doll? Let me know your favorite killer yeah. doll. Oh, I did. I did an old. Uh, you were in it. Remember, I made that Christmas horror anthology. Yes. 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 And, uh, I did one about my killer nutcracker because I have a scary nutcracker. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And I did. Okay, one then about you cut my part because I can't act. <laughs> well, originally, I know, you're really good as a grunge. Originally, it was the one of just me and Anthony, and then I made it longer. Okay. But I think I lost the long version that you were in, but I have the short version. Mm -hmm. I mean, you couldn't act. Maybe it was my director. <laughs> no, I think you I, weren't I, directing. I, I think I did pretty good. Um, you have one line of dialogue because the story was you were cheating on Anthony. Yeah. I just remember the one line of dialogue. You were like, yes, I love cheating on my boyfriend. It's all my favorite yeah, thing like, to do. All women love cheating on their boyfriend. She looks at the camera. It's like, it's our favorite thing to do. <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever written. <laughs> <laughs> um, Which is funny because you're the cheater. Shut up. Um, <laughs> what? Yes. So let us know all wow. of that. Uh, and let yeah. us know what you thought of the remake. Real quick. <gasps> She's dead. Uh, Real quick. I want to. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> She's got to be acting in some type of other movie now. No, Real quick. <laughs> all right. Listen, listen. I didn't see Megan, but I want to say I'm glad Megan is doing well. Mm. Because I watched the Child's Play remake yeah. with Audrey Plaza. Did you see it? Yeah. The 2019 one? I liked it. I actually liked no, no, it. I think thing, it took a thing. really cool twist on a uh, It didn't have to be Chucky. That's the thing. I That's really, my issue. No, no. I really liked it as an evil AI doll thing. Yes. The Chucky part didn't work because it's like they don't make toys like that anymore. They don't. I that think... wouldn't be a big seller. It would look like a robot or something. Or even like a classic teddy bear. It was honestly just the Chucky part because he doesn't act like Chucky. He, he doesn't, doesn't talk at all. Like well, Chucky. his entire motivation is not the same. It's not a yeah, psychopath. He's not. He, nothing. he just wants to protect. Yeah. And I was just like, everyone who's watched that movie has been like, this would be good if it wasn't Chucky. So I'm glad like Megan has proven. It's like, hey, we don't always have to slap an intellectual property to a cool idea. We can yes. just do a thing and people will give it. a. Well, I think that they were scared that it wasn't going to do well. So they had to put a known name to it. Yeah. I think but that instead, was the only people were reason. like, what the fuck? This isn't Chucky. It's not. They don't. None of it. What is it? It's like. He's uh, called Buddy. Be Buddy. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I it's think his name is guys. Chucky, but the doll's called Buddy. Yeah, it's not good. But guys. yeah, it was. I actually didn't mind. I actually really liked the characters I really liked and everything. It. But I'm yeah. just like, it shouldn't be Chucky. So I want to check I out agree. Megan. I don't know I if I really like it, but I want to check Megan. out Megan. Yes. Um. But yeah, yeah. They're already making a second movie, too. Oh, oh nice. wow. Nice. I guess even the viral marketing alone. Was that Blumhouse? Good job, Blumhouse. Hit or miss. Hit or yeah, miss. sometimes they sometimes do. you make something like the Craft Legacy and Black Christmas 2019, and other times <laughs> you make something like Megan. Woo! Anyway, thank you for watching. Check out all our stuff. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.